It has been over one year since I've done an update on this colony and they're a really interesting species and I'm really keen to show you what's been happening. So let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. So this is Queen Sisa. These are the Calamermex species. Now originally I thought they were the Albertsi, but apparently they're not particularly in this area where I live. So at the moment it's just a Calamermex species. And what a fascinating species they are. Now, here's a little look in their outworld, and you can see them scurrying around, quite busy out here. And they've got quite a unique look to them, uh, the species, and that's what I really like about them. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you will have seen the other videos on the species. And it's their abdomen that pulses. Um, and that's why I've given the queen the name Sisa, because that's Latin for, for pulsing. So I thought it was quite fitting for her. Um, but in the outworld here, what happened a little while back is that it started to mould up and get really nasty. We had a lot of cold, damp weather and it did not go down well in the outworld. We actually had quite a large die-off of the workers themselves. So this colony has been stunted quite a bit. But there are beautiful climbing um, little ant here, as we can see there. They're getting out and about um, on the lid here as I've got it off, but I'm not too phased about them. Now they don't sting at all, but they actually spray a chemical that's really pungent um, and that wards off uh, predators that are trying to get them. So they're really nice. Now when we have a closer look in a second inside the nest, we'll be able to see the queen, her brood, and up close on these particular ants. And they've got some really, really nice uh, characteristics that I really want to show you. So just keeping them up with their mealworms, um, their sugar water and their water constantly. Alright, were well, you ready to have a look inside the nest? Now this is an aesthetic ant's nest that he sent over to me quite some time ago. They're still housed in here and as you can see there's plenty of room. It's a little bit dirty, but a lot of the ants are in the outworld at the moment, are running around like crazy because I've disturbed them. But you can see they've got some nice healthy brood and you can see the queen there. But what I'm going to do, I'll clip on the macro lens. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so here we go. Having a little bit of a closer look at this particular species. Now, you'll notice their particular shape there, the thorax. It's quite a beefy, stocky. It looks like they've got some good shoulders on them there. And a nice, solid head. Very uh, typical sort of look to an ant. But when you get up close and you see them on the right angles, you'll see all these hairs all over them. Look at that. There's that pulse I was talking about in the abdomen. Now that's when they get a little bit agitated or a little bit excited, they do that. It's so cool to watch. Really, really interesting. So here we can see on their abdomen, quite hairy. Uh, this one uh, looks like it's picked up a new larvae. And you can see the hairs all over the body as well. Really, really cool. So a nice little pile of brood, things are looking good. Now the weather is starting to warm up, so all my colonies are coming alive and the brood is progressing, so that's really good. And you can see there, again, on that abdomen, you've got that sort of striping effect, where they've got a nice flat shiny bit and then a really hairy band. You can see it here on Queen Sisa, here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Really nice. Look at all the hairs all over their face as well. So she's doing really well. Um, and producing plenty of brood, um, new eggs and that, so that's really good to see. So the colony did probably halve in when it, all that mould got into the outworld. Um, so a big die-off, probably halved their numbers, so they were a bit stunted. And then we came into winter after that, and then, yeah, has not much has been going on. But they're building their numbers up again, um, and they're probably probably around about 30 or 40 workers now, so that's good. So at the top of this nest, you've got the hydration that comes in, and then they've got these chambers. And what I like about this nest in particular is it's not just the standard block nest. It's got some nice shape to those little chambers there. So they like hanging out in the uh, little tube in between the outworld and the nest. But there we go. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this particular species. Have you kept them? It's a very hard species uh, to find other people that have kept them. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Well, please thank the Patreons down in the comments because this channel is made possible by their effort and their support of the channel. So thank you, Medical Carcass 9, Hugh Janus, K Single, Gordon C, Ant Nation, Nicholas Strano, and the Dragon Bloom. Now please hit that subscribe button. We're heading on our way to 5,000 subscribers. There's a video there recommended for you and one I picked that I think you might really enjoy, especially as we head into nuptial season. Thanks for watching and happy and keeping.